Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. Today I'm going to share with you all the contents that you need to know in regards to the upcoming Tomato Tomato event. This will ensure you are prepared and can plan ahead. It has currently gone live in states 547 to 582 and 853 to 864 from the 12th of May. I don't expect any large changes before it is rolled out to all states older than two weeks from Thursday the 19th of May. Would you like to maximize your rewards in this event? Then stay tuned until the end for this gorilla to share with you some tips and tricks for a triple yummy reward. Would you like 500 bio caps for free? Then do go tomatoes on that subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Now, you can claim your free 500 bio caps by clicking this button on the Tomato Tomato Party event page. You'll be prompted to share on Facebook or Twitter, and just like that you are 500 bio caps richer. Lights and color. This is an interesting new but simple feature, and a first for all the survivors community. I see that survivors have 16 tasks to accomplish across the next 7 days. Here as survivors complete the task on hand, you will unlock the numbers needed to connect the circuits and then collect the rewards once the relevant circuits are connected. When you click on the rewards, you will get the clues on the task you need to accomplish to unlock the rewards. There are two main rewards in this event, firstly are the tomatoes, which is the main currency needed if you want to win the coveted Ketchup Factory HQ skin. Here, there are 310 tomatoes to be collected. The second rewards that has caught my eye is the Sakura Season Surprise Chest, where collecting 15 of these will guarantee you one Nanami statue license, of which there are two chests to be collected. Then, should survivors connect all the circuits, you will get further rewards of a Scarecrow Decoration Building, 6 Sakura Season Surprise Chest, 200 tomatoes and 1000 bio caps. That means by completing all the task in the lights and color event, you will stand to receive 510 tomatoes and 8 Sakura season surprise chest as the main rewards. This is quite good to be fair. Next we'll take a look at the Operation Tomato event page. This event should be extremely familiar with the survivors community, it will be similar to the survival of the fittest event over 7 days. There is always the opportunity for a triple yummy rewards so watch that space. Now, many of you will have the SVS preparation stage, or maybe the survival of the fittest bloodsport, during this event. In my state, this event will clash with Alliance Throwdown for several days, with the final three days overlapping with the survival of the fittest event. As such this gorilla's special tips for those of you with survival of the fittest bloodsport event, is to wait until Monday the following week, which is the beginning of the survival of the fittest Bloodsport event, to use your plasma, speedups, hero fragments, aircraft materials and others, as this will ensure you get extremely favorable rankings in both the SOTF Bloodsport event and the Operations Ketchup event. Now, please be aware that the developers can change the stages of these events. So to keep a watch out for this, and I will release my triple yummy guide on Thursday the 19th of May, once I've verified there's been no changes. Would you like another gorilla size tip? Check out your backpack on the first day of the Tomato Tomato event and click on the Recycling Center. The Recycling Center is back in its full form. The developers didn't make an official announcement about it, but has been unlocked for you to recycle a wider array of junk. The full Recycling Center capability will be removed once the HQ skin event ends and be reactivated on the next HQ skin event. If you want to know more about how to efficiently utilize the Recycling Center feature, you can check out my previous video on the link above, or alternatively I added the link in the description below. Next event page, Sweet Potatoes, nothing special here as most of the tasks on this page are all achievable. The only thing you need to be aware of are the task kill infected, gather wilderness resources, explore and collect settlement resources, whether this refreshes daily, or is it a week-long event. I suspect it will be a week-long event, and I do not expect these tasks to be refreshed daily, but the developers tend to mix it up. So just be aware. Moving along swiftly to the Ketchup Creation event page. You would use all your tomatoes acquired in this event page to make ketchup or juice. I mean it says Ketchup Creation, yet the machine says tomato juice. You've got a confused gorilla here. Oh well, I'm sure you don't care, but what you really care about is that this page should be familiar to most survivor, and the magic word you've been awaiting for is that this is an in-state event. The top 10 rank survivors in your state will be rewarded with the permanent Ketchup Factory HQ skin. There isn't a special skin as they are all the same, whether you are ranked number 1 or number 10, as long you are in the top 10, the additional 2% troop attack bonus is yours to keep. 
Now what caught my attention are the additional 12 Sakura Season Surprise Chest that you can obtain by purchasing the Epic Crate and the Legendary Crate. If my memory serves me right, the Epic Crate will be £3.69 and the Legendary Crate will set you back by a further £7.49. If you still need to obtain more Nanami Statue License, this is a decent option. Then I'm sure you are wondering to know, how do you obtain more tomatoes or even the frame skin? No surprises here, more bundles, this time called Frank's Surprise. I'm not sure how much your dog would like tomatoes, I've never seen a dog eat tomatoes, have you? Anyway, the £3.69 bundle will get you the frame skin which is the 2% permanent troop defense boost, tomatoes for use in the ketchup creation event page, in order to obtain the coveted ketchup factory HQ skin, some general speedups, plasma cores and resources as usual. Expect these to go up to three times the maximum at £75.99 a piece further. This is based on my previous experience in relation to other skin events. Finally, the Tomato Exterminate March skin is obtainable by the Top Up Rewards event when you've acquired top ups, accumulating to 30,000 bio caps or more. If you want to know more about the effectiveness of March skins and its relevance in this game, you can check out the video made by Jump, which I have added the link in the description below. Well that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos please throw those tomatoes and hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.